I know you fuck what's it called. The, the, the I used kippa. To, I used to work with some Jewish people. Uh, the kippa, uh, the yarmulke. The yarmulke, that's what it is, a yarmulke. The cap also, on their head. Yeah. yeah. They also. They some they wipe their ass. Yeah, it's a Jewish thing. Yeah. Uh, you gotta watch out for them. They're, I told them, like, you know, we don't, we don't vaccinate our kids or not. People are fucking crazy. Yeah, you should. Yeah, because... I don't mind now. But most you know people... I put that shit in my fucking bodies. Most of these people, I mean, they, they... They think, you know, vaccines... Stop it. One ear to German village. Vaccines do not create health. Vaccines do not make children healthy. It's not health. It's not people health. It's not create health. Oh, yeah. Just pray to the Lord, you know, right? It don't look that bad over here. You believe in the Bible? I mean, I know I grew up in a Christian home. I question a lot of shit, but I do. I mean, because a lot of the a lot of shit they teach it, well, a lot. Almost all, everything they teach in the church is all bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot. Right. Right. Absolutely. You can't believe everything you're told all the time. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much the confusion. The spirit of the Lord moves on. Start to think about the truth. Oh wow. There it is. Right. Right. I don't even know if I'll even when my kids get old enough to come out of the public. Can't schools. see this shit. What should they teach them in school? It's ridiculous. Oh, man, it's so fucking so ridiculous. Exactly. It's a mess. It's, it's I bad. I always said it's supposed to be a mess. It, Crazy. It's supposed to be. I don't think I'll. I don't think I'll sing them. I don't, I don't, I don't think I will. That's think like child abuse. Schools. I think I'm not. I don't think I can sing them to public schools. I think going to public school is the most traumatizing yeah, experience in my life. Absolutely. They're saying I'm moving. Out. Absolutely. Absolutely. They know what they're doing. They top one eight stupid. Yeah, they ain't teaching these kids children nothing. No, none. They need to know to be adults in the world by any means. Right. Look how stupid everybody is. Right. If it was right. working, everybody wants to be right. stupid. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Americans' children are constantly falling behind in test scores compared to the rest of the world. And it's supposed to be America. Yeah. Land of the fucking free ain't nobody free. And you know, you can't even live off your own land. Yeah. Build your water If you build your water collection, it has solar uh, panels, you ain't they'll still come after you. You ain't celebrating uh, Independence Day? Like, uh, no. The fuck way to the free. Is it free? I don't think it ever was free. No, no, no. And this freedom, uh, the, uh, they came here and stole this land. Genocide. You know, they make it, you know, when you go to school, you learn about Thanksgiving like it was all happy horseshit, and it wasn't. It wasn't. Check this out. This is January 4, 22. For my people, it's foolish. Yep. They have not known me. They are sottish children. You know what sottish means? No. Stupid. Hey, there you go. <laughs> hey. So it's supposed to be this way. You know, people are supposed to be stupid in the last day. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, they, they stupid, all right. And they have none understanding. None. <laughs> none. Like you said, because if you try to tell your friends and family this stuff that you know about... Oh, God, they think I'm fucking crazy. They gonna take Although, life. some of them, like my grandma, I finally got her to buy into the reason why I don't vaccinate the kids. She finally, like, gets it after, like, I went, like, you know, after so, so much research. Vaccination research. for? I mean, I'm trying, I, I, I can't, I'm trying to think of uh, how I got about vaccination for the story of the um, they tried to say that, you know, like the polio vaccine, like that's what saved it, the smallpox or whatever, but it was already on the decline with the implication of clean water, clean drinking, I think some of those vaccines probably eating. do work, but that's not even the thing. The thing is there's like a trope no horse. Right, they, right, they, everything they has a tip None of them vaccines work for yeah. they have, they have uh, Aluminum in them. Um, uh, the actual disease in That's what I'm trying to think. Yeah, that, that's true. The live virus is right. It's the actual disease, but it's uh, oh, yeah. what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that was the women and feeding all their babies Simlag. Yep. 
fluoride water and all that. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> fluoride is no, it's so fucking crazy. They're poisoning us. Literally, we are an experiment. Oh, the human experiment. Yes. They have no understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, that's our people. You know what I mean? They, to do good, they ain't got no knowledge. Nope. All right, they ain't got knowledge to be a Thankfully, the internet is making it more possible for people to learn shit to open their eyes up. Yeah, right. <laughs> they increase it. In a lot of ways, yes, but they make people more lazy. They make them stupid. The yeah. internet's the one. Like watching like YouTube videos of people who push shit out there was like the one thing that really did help me. You're right. So, well, what's up? We we teach. We use the internet to teach. That's how. Yeah, YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and shit. There's yeah. a couple channels I follow. So guaranteed. But most people, they on World Star Hip Hop, though. Oh, yeah, see, that ain't gonna get you nowhere for being dumb as hell. They on World Star Hip Hop, right? Right, right. Okay, because here's the thing, like, like, oh, oh, Orlando, the Orlando shooting. You know, you see everything. Everything, every time something happens, people pull out their phones. That's the first thing they do. Nobody calls for help, they pull out their phones to report it and get it all. Hey, that's a good there point. There ain't not shit of Orlando, except for the one where that yep. girl's on that Snapchat video and there's supposed to be gunshots in the back. And then how do you get, how do you get a rifle in there if they... You gotta go through security with right. ID. Right, and how many times did he empty a clip and pull another clip in? Not nobody, no. He carried how many clips, how many rounds did he shoot off? He shot over 100 people. How many clips did he carry on? But you see How do you carry that many clips? That's beautiful though, ain't it? But you see it, look, look, look at all the gay pride flags. Hey, and don't you know the people, you know, all over Facebook, like Orlando Strong, Orlando Strong, like no one knows what. But you know what? But, hey, that's good for them though, you know? That's good to day in darkness. You know what I mean? Screw right over there. Went to that club, got the motherfuckers out of here, and then did whatever they did. That's not even good. Good talk to you guys. I'm really glad to see what you're doing. You formed the people they need to know. They can't come out and cut off the I'm not dead. I'm not dead. All right, dude. I'm still a fucking faggot out here. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. So the CIA did something. Yeah, they did something. Nah, but I was on every YouTube video. What? And every YouTube video from that suit, people like, I knew somebody that died in there. Oh, yeah, you know, that's some yeah, government right. trolls. Yeah. 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 So I'm having that problem up here. There's like an explosion going off. There's a big ass hole in the wall. Still in holes. So, you know, whether they went through the way it did or not. Personally, I hope they got one. Yeah, I hope they did too. I hope they went through the wall. I hope they went through the wall. I 
I got to remember that because uh, the, the, there's certain sins that are a sin unto death, right? Like uh, uh, adultery. Adultery? Yeah. You're supposed to get put to death for doing adultery. Being a homosexual, that's not something like that. that. All right? I got I got a script. Uh, okay. 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 Encyclopedia. It says Edom is modern Jewry. Here's something out of the Jewish Almanac written by a Jew. Strictly speaking, it is incorrect to call an ancient Israelite a Jew or to call a contemporary Jew an Israelite or a Hebrew. Because they're not Israelites, they're liars. Just like the Bible tells us. I don't think so or not. I know that works in tribulation and probably but there are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews and are not. You are in synagogue say. So the, the Lord said he know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews, when they also call themselves Israelis. But it says they are not Jews, they're the synagogue of Satan. 
Okay, they're, 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 they're devils. Uh, see? Well, they're like different denominations. Nah, they're, 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 they're different nations. These are Hebrew Edomites. They're not Hebrew Israelites. The Jews today claiming to be Jews, they're actually Hebrew Edomites. And they know they are. It says it right here. Edom is modern like, uh, Jewry. Of course. Yeah, they control the whole world. The Bible says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And the top wicked is these devils right here. Look. You see that? So what are we supposed to do to reclaim the world? We're doing what we're supposed to do. So, uh, we're exactly. This is what we're supposed to do. And when you read Revelation the seventh chapter, you don't see uh, Hebrew Edomites on that list. No. You don't see Edomites on that list. All you see is Edomites. Yeah. That's like a type of roach or a rat. Twelve tribes. Twelve tribes of Israel. All right. Where you on here? Where are you as a, you? Where are you at? Uh, they don't have. Um, Make your time to read it, man. Well, you might be on our channel. You tell me the who's your dad, Terry, your dad, your dad, your father. Your dad, your father. Uh, my great grandpa. You know what you're trying to do. You know what you're trying to do. My great grandpa. Okay. But you, don't worry about your mom. You know what your father is. The father carries the seed, the spirit, and carries it on to the son. But your father, you said your great great father, great father is Terry. Um, yeah. Okay. Say Elon was not the Bible. Elon Mike. Elon Mike. They know that Elon Mike. Because the same go to all nations and teach those nations, and we out here to tell them all the nations who they are too, but they don't know. Yeah, but actually, a lot of the nations over in India, they know they Elon Mike. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they got their they Elon. They got their they got their ancient records. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 I can believe that. You know, a lot of these nations know who they are. You know, like uh, they, the Ethiopians know they could. They know they could. You know, you know? Uh, the, uh, the Arabs know they is now. Yeah. Oh, I went to a gas station up north. You know, the Amites know the only gas station. He told me that he knows that he's the same to Barack Obama's people. You know? I gotta get going. Go. This Hamite that owns the gas station up north is paying Hamite too. You know, he went on problems. It's like he get out front and show off his his car, his jewelry, and all this and that. So in his mind, he thinking niggas don't know shit. Yeah, you know, I know uh, your Negroes here in America, you know, uh, ain't my people. And uh, you know, Barack Obama's my brother. What? That's what he said. You know, I told y'all that years ago, a couple years ago. Yeah. I still remember that. Yeah, because you can tell Obama's a hand mic. Right. He is not an Israelite. He looks crazy as hell. Yeah, just saw the videos of him dancing. But you had some Israelite camp that they were teaching that Obama was an Israelite. Okay. Yeah, they look for, like retard. You see Obama trying to dance? He looks dumb as hell trying to dance. Yeah, man. Yeah, well. It might have been an Edomite, but it was like some English dude. They made a movie on it. I don't know. You don't even know until you meet a person. Yeah, that's so true, man. Just Yeah, because if I ain't never met you, I don't know. Well, let's see a picture, a video, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
Well, that's it, Jake. Well, that's it. That's a song they butcher up in church. Let me finish this real quick. Get back to this first time. This is the last verse. Last the 20th of the um, This is first John uh, 5 and 20. And we know that the Son of the Most High has come and have given us an understanding that we may know that him that is true, even in his Son, Yahweh Shai, this is the true power in eternal life. Little children keep themselves from life. It's that understanding that I want. And yeah, these people out here got no understanding. That's why you gotta come out here and teach them. All just like what that Roman said, how they gonna have a how they gonna learn unless they got a preacher? How they gonna hear without a preacher? What's that Romans eleven? That's the whole point of coming out doing this work. Spread the word, man. All right, bro. I think we done taught the whole damn coat of us department. If guy did. Oh, uh, guy, oh, they Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't get fired. Or he, he always said, I can't teach right there. So we should try to get by here. Fuck. That'd be all right. Just have a prayer. Oh, I got two of them. Yeah, we did. Romans. I'm going to start at. Uh, uh, start at uh, Romans 8 and 9. They was you write these signs up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, go ahead and read that. The water is killing me. It says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Yahweh shot, and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him up from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the saints, with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesseth it is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whoso believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Oh, yes. Go ahead, keep going. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, call upon the name of the Lord. We well, just telling that dude that came up. The, the sweet Jesus is not the Lord's name. The Lord's name is your house shot. Go ahead. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Or how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How, and how shall they hear without a preacher? Exactly. So how the hell is anybody going to wake up to the truth if you don't get your ass on the street and teach? Part 5. Part 5. Niggas with red garments and the purple garments, they're ashamed of the thing. So now they come out here pushing the price on them. Talking about Christ blessed. Christ. Trying to appeal to the people, you know? Yeah, because they're, they're playing the numbers game. They know if you come out with the real name of the Lord, you're not going to get a large following. Right? So they come out with that with that, that regular popular name of Christ. They know that's the money that's, that that's the name that's gonna make them money. Okay, because you come out teaching the truth, you're not gonna make no money. It ain't gonna be out of the rain either. Hey. You, know, you ain't gonna see no IUIC today. Hey, hey, it's gonna rain that day out, man. They'll go fly for a workers come and not come out for the next uh. <laughs> hey, look, it, it's bombing a little bit. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, uh, the Native American came by. Uh. He was talking to me earlier. Oh, the dude was last week. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he came by. He remember everything, man. Remember the name. Remember the channel. Really? Oh. Yeah, he said he's trying to arrange it so he can come out here with the car. All right. That's what's up. He was kind of cool, too, man. Yeah, he's just cool. He actually came over here. Over here and talked to me, man. I got a scripture. Uh, remember we was talking about uh, we're not playing a numbers game, right? Well, let me start at uh, Matthew 22. 
and 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many ye shall find bid to the marriage. But we on the highways right now, you're supposed to go outside and teach. You ain't supposed to be at home. You know what I mean? Just chilling on the couch. So the servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. A lot of these fools ain't got garments, you know what I mean? They walk around naked. You can see they shame. Yep. Because that goes and links up with that uh, scripture in Revelation. It says, uh, keep your garments, lest uh, thou be naked and you know, your, your, your shame is seen. What's that doing? Uh, Matthew 22 and 13. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. See? So when the Lord brings that destruction, it's for all you fools out here that didn't have your garments, you know what I mean? You, didn't, you wasn't teaching the truth, doing what you were supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It ain't going to be like your boy said that Jesus is going to love you. Just look going to love you. Nah. He said it's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know what I'm saying? I got some precepts real quick. Go ahead. This is uh, 2 Daniel 8. We're going to start at 1. And he answered me saying, The Most High have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. I will tell you, Oh, that's a good point. So this world right here, you living in America, there's nothing but filth and perverseness. So this world right here is made for many. That's why the masses of people was enjoying themselves at the July 4th thing. You still ain't no ranger fuck with the third. Oh, yes, sir. Well, you know the red, white, and blue was Friday. Right, right. Everybody's out there having a good old time, celebrating their wickedness, you know what I mean? Oh, this is a celebration of wickedness. America is a country founded upon treason. America's independence. They committed treason against the king of England. Uh, they are treason. Okay. And actually, that was the dumbest thing they could have ever did was leave England. But, you know? Yeah, this is a, a country founded upon treachery. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I will tell the important they sent it to me. As when thou ask the earth, it shall say unto thee, that it keepeth much longer of earth and vessels are made. But little dust that go common of, even so is the course of this present world. There are many created, but few shall be saved. Right. There's many created, but few shall be saved. That tells you the salvation is not for everybody. Hey, that just proved they said that. Uh, that Jesus came to save the whole world. That scripture right there disproves that. Nah. He only came to save the elect of Israel. Salvation is for the elect of Israel. Isaiah 10 and 21. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For those thy people of Israel we have the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return, and such a decree shall overflow with righteousness. Yep, it's a remnant. Oh yeah, just like as the Lord said, he always gonna leave that remnant you know, for David's sake, right? Nah, where you at? No. Yeah. Which you guys have? No, I was wondering if there was more to it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. We'll never sleep like that. Really? You see a sign of rain or something. I was in such a damn hurry, I, I didn't know what was going on, man. 
I had to hurry up, drive all the way out to fucking Grove City and come out here. That's a lot of fucking driving. Yeah, go like, this is That's That's way the fuck out Plus, I'm all the way out east. You want to get a bus pass. Go your car. I'm living here, though. I got a script to, uh, to back you up on the Amos 9. That back set up. You know what I mean? Uh, Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon this sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So, because like two thirds of Israel is going to be destroyed, right? But the Lord ain't going to totally destroy all of Israel. What's up? Well, you might as well just do that. Yeah. That, that's going to work a lot better. That's what I do. Electronics are sisters. Yeah. I'm sure they can make these bitches waterproof way top of that. You can buy a waterproof camera. Oh, I know, I know. They're expensive as fuck. Hey, that might be a good investment. Maybe my next camera will be a waterproof camera. Shit, that way you, we can't be stopped. I don't care if I get wet. We've been out here drenched, freezing. We've been out here teaching icicles in our beards. You know what I mean? Toes falling off. Yeah, toes falling off. Oh, I've heard that one year I got caught slipping wearing some Chuck Taylors out the... Out the yeah. <laughs> well, you don't want... Yeah, he don't want to wear those in the winter. Well, I thought my feet were going to fall off. Hey, we still out there teaching, though. Yeah, a true man of the Lord gonna be out teaching rain, sleet, hell, or snow. That's why we're gonna get there with you. And every time we out there in the rain, there'll be somebody there to listen to, don't it? Because people are like, you wasting your time. You out, you out in the rain, in the cold. That's why we don't, we don't reach more people than y'all, see? We out there doing the Father's work. We out here, uh, tend, we out there tending, working in the vineyard. Oh, you like yeah. your silence on the song? Right there the sheet, man. Oh, yeah. I used to watch it. 2 and 17. But we, not, we are not as many which corrupt the word of the Most High, but as of sincerity, but as of God. It's like, I'm thinking. But as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we. Yeah, because we're not out here. You know to corrupt the word we don't have like no personal agenda we doubt doing this because we sincere this is what we're passionate about this you know this we actually care about this truth you know we actually care about the word of the most high in the most highest ways that's why we are we're not here to get a paycheck not out here to take ties from everybody take everybody's money oh yeah yeah we, de we definitely, because you, if you teach you the truth, that ain't going to happen. You know what I mean? Bitches might ridicule, ridicule you. But what the fuck is you wearing? What is Y'all look like y'all got your shirts out of the trash. You know how the bitches be talking shit. Yeah, your boss might see you out here teaching. Oh, yeah, because we used to have a brother teaching with us. He worked at Coda. And, uh... He would always say, man, I can't teach it. He can't teach at this spot right here. He's afraid he get fired, you know? All right, brother. What's up, bro? So, yeah, pretty much this whole world is our enemy. If, if, if somebody ain't out here doing what they're supposed to be doing, they're the enemy. And you can't, they can't be trusted. I'm going to get a scripture for that. If I can find it. I'm about to go. Let's get that James. Let me read this real quick. This Revelation uh, 6 and 11. And, and white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they shall rest yet for a little season until the fellowship and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And I beheld when, and I beheld and when. And he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sacrament, the hair and the moon became as blood. 
Oh, that's what happened. And hey, we just had that intro on the fourth blood move, boys. Huh? Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, but well, wait till the Lord comes back. It's gonna be dark and scary out here. Right now, everybody's smiling. They about to have their little cook. I hope everybody's cookout gets rained out today, too. You know what I'm saying? I was praying. I was praying for the race rides on uh, Friday with the red, white, and blue. It didn't happen. What they saying now? The government skies. They looking for these Americanisms. They say I can't remember the Americanisms. They looking for radical Americans during this time of year now. Today and tomorrow, when the celebration, people that you know, because they they characterize one group of the people that are patriotic, that brings in everybody. We all love each other, and then there's that other group of American motherfuckers that that's that's only for certain groups of Americans. Now other yeah, cause, no. cause if you're like the, the old Thomas Jefferson type American, whatever, they're gonna consider you a terrorist. You know what I mean? They don't want that nobody talking none of that freedom shit and none of that constitution shit. Hey, that should get you locked up. Yeah, they gonna put a stop to that. Freedom of speech? There ain't no freedom of speech no more. Cause now, now they got something called hate speech. The and that was the whole point of freedom of speech. And so you could speak hatefully and not get in trouble for it. You know what I mean? To speak out against certain things. But now you got some, it's an actual offense. Hate speech. You know what I'm saying? If you say something bad about a homosexual, oh, you can actually get in trouble for that. So it's just, you ain't got no freedom out here. Hey, look, that's why every July 4th weekend, you see all the cops on the freeway, the Highway State Patrol is out, ready to get you. I seen it. They just, I just right over by Grove City, I seen four uh, state troopers right there, bro. Because they take advantage of people on the holiday weekends. They know you out there drinking, and they just, they just going to rack up the tickets and take all your money. But you're free, right? Up. People say they free, but you gotta pass through DUI checkpoints and show your papers. Produce your papers. Let me, or you go to jail. You get a ticket, get fined, get in prison. And fuck America. It's just like when they put out those uh, those uh, man. You better have the right to the right to Oh yeah, it will be. Yup, you they gonna lock you up. They love their church. People did that same shit. I got a script in the back there. Yeah. Cause you know, already America, America has more prisoners and louder than prisoners. But you know, America has more prisons than the rest of the world combined. How is it that America got more prisons than every country, but y'all talking about you free? But they got more prisoners than the rest of the world combined. But you free, right? Okay. You get, hey, get Revelation. My Bible's my report. Revelation 2 and 2. Oh, he got it. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So the Bible said the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Okay? That, that's why America has more prisons than the rest of the world combined. Go ahead. Uh, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. Then I will give thee a crown of life. Yep, you're gonna get a crown of life. So shit, soon. Cause they already consider us terrorists. If you you know if you teach the Bible on the streets like us, you're gonna write to the FBI database. You know what I mean? Believe it, they got fouls on each one of them. <laughs> That make a man an offender for a word, to lay a stamp for him that prove him to the gate, and turn aside the just for they do not. That's my YouTube. Yeah, if you make a hate.
Hulk Hogan hurt someone's feelings, then they'll delete this shit. But I thought this was like a, a, I thought you had free speech, but they worry about everybody's feelings. I say fuck your feelings. I don't care about nobody's feelings. They started back there. Uh, with their comments, the negative comments. Oh, they've been doing that. Uh, if you get a, when you go on the comment on Yahoo or any of these sites, then you can't you can't use cuss words or nothing. They automatically delete them out. It'll make your comment invisible. Or it'd be like, yeah, your comment can not go through. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you know, shit like that. Way to prove it. Hey! Hey, hey! It's starting, it's starting. Somebody, I'm gonna I'm get this food. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna hit this lick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that too. John Gilder was up in the saying that Mary was the greatest Muslim in the world. Yeah, I hear Muslims say that all the time. Yeah. But that's is something that shit. That proves the Quran is bullshit because the, the, the scriptures don't say that Mary was the great beautiful woman. I think the bus is gay. Yeah. They don't know we out here calling for no justice. Because they don't even know what justice, the real justice is justice according to the laws of the Bible. Not justice according to the courthouse. You know, with, with a devil sitting up there. Because you know what I'm saying? You go to the courthouse, the, the judge is like the high priest of Satan. That's why he dressed in all black wearing a priestly garment. Because the judge is actually a high priest of Satan. And that's why he summoned your ass to court just like a devil worshiper sums his spirit. Don't, don't the scriptures say dare any of you go to the house of the, of the unjust? Exactly. You know? So they got lawyers. They, they, they even be a lawyer to even deal with the law. You gotta go study law, you know, for, for 20 years. You gotta go do the bar. And then none of them even know all the law. It's, all, it's like millions of laws. And it pretty much at the end of the day, if you give the court enough money, they gonna drop the charges. You know what I mean? So. Really, in America, if you're poor, you're going to jail. If you're rich, you're going home. You know what I mean? That, yeah, they do. That's how the court system works. You hear about these rich devils all the time. They kill somebody. And now they post a bond, a couple million or whatever. And they be right back out on the streets. But unless somebody from the hood, you know, commit a crime. But they staying locked up. They ain't never getting out. That's just wicked as hell, man. You can actually, the system's actually built like that. You pay him, you get out. It don't make no sense. 
you can find yourself out. What is that, bro? That is, that is not justice. I mean, it's obvious that this shit is crooked as hell. Yeah, you can tell me. I got a credit card, man. And if you were later, this party is working for the system that these police cars will be having on. The credit card swipe thing, too. Oh, yeah. You know, someone probably do something. Yeah, because all those traffic tickets, that's just all a scam. Because most cops, they don't even fight crime. All they do is take your money. They don't care about crime. Yes. Yeah, they ain't got like Batman out here. They got here. Cops are just there to take your money. Press. That's it. They're a big part of the problem. Yeah, they're a big part of the problem. And a bigger part of the problem is the people who support them. Like you see all that bullshit now on uh, uh we must we must uh protect our police. There are good cops out there, not all cops are bad. That's some bullshit. All cops are bad. There's no such thing as a good cop. Okay. Dare any of you having a matter against another go to the law before the unjust? That's talking about your baby's mama calling 911 on you. Because you know if that 911 was not there, hey, these women, they wouldn't be as loud and as, as, as bold as they are, would they? They'd be, man, they'd be a piece of the street if there was no 911. If there was no cops, I guarantee you, if there was no cops, there would be virtually no crime. The people will take care of their own business. And the cops are the only thing stopping us from uh from carrying out a just sentences. You know what I'm saying? You know what that is. Ah. Shit, if you can't get with that bitch no more, she'll get up early in the morning and straight to child support. You know, she ain't gotta wait in no line. They immediately oh. take that bitch in and get her write down whatever information she needs, and she can give up. There you go, right in the system, boy. She did, she did her job. Yeah. 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 They got pay for that, too. Mm -hmm. none, none of these crimes are yeah, going up funny. They all got pay. They got hell to pay. Like the script said, they're going to be weeping and gnashing their teeth. They call this shit the darling. They call it the darling. The darling. That's crazy. Well, they call it Lady Liberty. Ooh. Why, why is everything Lady Justice? Lady, everything's a woman. Lady, yeah, the Statue of Liberty is a woman. Lady Justice is a woman. Lady Liberty is a woman. That's that feminine faggot vibration that's going on out here. Worshiping the Queen of Heaven. It is, bro. Yeah, that hill talk. 
Because one of them motherfuckers is educated. They don't None. go to school. They were totally retarded. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, man, but it's a good ass reality show, man. But these, they know they're hunting. But other than that, man, other than looking for what herbs is out there, mushrooms and shit, man, it's retarded. Man. <laughs> they're retarded. <laughs> they're probably cool as hell. Though. Hey, that fits the description uh, of Israel, though. Our people are dumb. They're retarded. They probably know how to make liquor. They I just about to say that. You know they had to make that moonshine. They, make their own shit. they ain't going to the carry out at the top of the hill. Going to I <laughs> see. I was doing research on moonshine, like you know, like, in the history of bootlegging. But they show you how out in the middle of the damn woods, in the middle of nowhere, they had these big ass distilleries. You know, just hide them for the police. They got everything camouflaged in the helicopter. Right, 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 right. Now we got to fly over, looking down. I don't see nothing but woods. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They got a camouflage board. Yeah, it's an orange shit. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, guys, what the script said, they're wise to do evil. Oh, yeah, they're wise to do evil. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I mean, ain't no wrong trick. Nah, but. You know, but you know. Bootlegging. That, that's them, man. That's their life, man. Yeah. That's their life, man. Yeah, you yeah. know they grown that, 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 that good green, too, over there. Yeah, yeah. The moonshine, that was bigger than you ever, man. Oh, yeah. They say kids get the motherfucking drink, man. Are they drinking it all the Fine making the soul Mary. Oh, uh, that's uh, Proverbs 31. That's a manly thing, man. We love drinking. For real. Different I get... types of shit, too. <laughs> yeah, we like, you know, you like, you gotta mix it up, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Jack Daniels, he got his recipe from a, a, a black slave. Yeah? Yeah, that's where he got it from, a black slave. Yeah, Jack Daniels, he was like three billion dollars in profit. That's a good shit. He got four, man. Jack Daniels. Everybody in their phone like that. Daniels. I'll read this. Uh, I'll just read all of this. Proverbs 31 and 1. 